well i'm just here to let you know if you get to see anything under my armpits it's just hair okay just hair hello guys welcome to my channel welcome once again to creating cynthia so this video is going to be very interesting so we're changing this truck suit very nice i've got a set top and bottom so guys stay tuned i don't want this video to be like long so i'll probably divide it into two parts part one and part two okay so my goal is to actually you know to come up with different pieces of garments because this is huge i didn't buy it someone else did they didn't like it so i was like give it to me <laughs> give it to me look at the colors what not to like about this what not to like look at the colors very nice very pretty like you know and the best about this is huge oh my god mm. why am i gonna change this i can just wear it the way it is like this is amazing oh my god look how cute this is amazing that's the reason why i love this goes well with any color literally even with the crocs everything is matching let's focus on the bottom part first of all i think like there's gathering in here oops oops there's gathering in here i think i'm gonna shop it a little bit because there's excess fabric anyways and uh, i don't want it to be on the floor so i'm gonna take here this part here and i'm gonna take this part here as well and uh, might use it as a, a calf or something i don't know yes this thing just came off so unfortunately i think i would have to take off the waistband and redo it mm, i really didn't want to but and then what i'm gonna do after is look i've got i've got like the pockets here i think i'm gonna keep it oops yeah i'm gonna keep the pockets open the sides okay open the sides following the seams here all the way down and the same here okay shop 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 and then when the sides are open i'm gonna get rid of the crotch okay so i'm gonna take the excess fabric that i have from here i'm gonna end up with a lot and yes transform it into a skirt so join both legs together do the same at the back it's going to look like this as you are looking at the screen right now and the side going to be open I might add some poppers who knows who knows so I've got This is dangerous. This is dangerous, but basically, I'm using a long straight object as a measurement tool. I'm trying to get the front and back a seamless effect as if the design was intentional. In result, the front and back of the skirt will remain flat. Are you following? If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe, okay? Then I decided to completely separate the front and back so I could add a decorative stitch overlooking all four sides, like so. Okay guys, so far that's how it looks like, you know? Very nice. This 
side here yes I'm quite satisfied I'm quite satisfied and uh, the next step would be to add the uh, waistband here all around okay this is kind of loose as you can see it's pretty much loose at the front the back it's okay I don't have like uh, excess fabric here only because I decided to create some darts where are they? where are they? yeah here as you can see I've got like some darts two darts here so one on each side this is my waistband and it will come here okay however I also modify not modify I actually fixed it I fix it because the grommet actually one of them came out so I decided to redo on both sides and when I did that the waistband actually decreased in size but I reduced the skirt waistband by adding some darts And ta da Ready is new! This is how it looks. I must overlock it again. And also, in order to be able to, you know, take it off and put it in, I need some allowance here because I don't have no zippers at all. And it would be impossible for me to take it off or put it in without the excess fabric around here. I have just enough in order to make it look nice. Also guys, some of you might be concerned about <laughs> the opening here. However, nothing is showing. Look, nothing is showing. Don't come at me. I kind of like on how raw it looks here, okay? I was thinking of adding a grommet. <laughs> on both sides however if i do i might only add in the pink area uh, only a few of them just for decoration purposes other than that i think it's looking good yes i'm carefully marking the location so that i can make small openings to insert the grommets in do it gradually because you don't want to exaggerate on the whole sizes otherwise the grommets will not fit and ruin your project Then, I attach the grommet with a hammer and tools. Take your time here to avoid mistakes. And that's it here's the final result okay guys just a quick reminder all right so i'll be uploading drawings soon very soon if you are confused go back and watch my welcome to my channel video where i'm explaining everything that i'll be delivering into this channel okay Hey guys if you like this video comment down below like it and also subscribe to my channel okay don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's very important for me and it's important for you as well if you want to keep up with my uploads please do all right so subscribe like the video and comment down below what you think about my videos this one in particular all right so i'll see you in the next one bye